If you are watching this video, then that means the Terrian form of Tornadus is in raid battles, and you're looking for the absolute best counters, what the perfect IVCPs are, and just in general, how you can catch this legendary Pokemon. That's all I'm going to be covering in today's video. Let's roll the intro and get right into it. How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new raid guide video. Today I'm going to be covering the Terrian form of Tornadus. This is the slightly more powerful version of the regular form Tornadus. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of things that we need to cover. It's actually a pretty easy boss as long as you have the right counters in your arsenal. So first and foremost, Tornadus is a pure flying type Pokemon, which means it's going to have three specific weaknesses up against it. And that is of course going to be electric types, ice types, and rock types. You can kind of already guess where I'm going to go with this. Of course, electric types are some of the most powerful Pokemon that are out right now, but depending on what moveset you go up against with Tornadus, it might be wise to use rock types as well. At least have them ready, considering that Tornadus does have quite a lot of different moves that it could have. But in general, electric types are going to do the absolute best up against Tornadus, simply because the electric types are dealing just a lot more damage compared to the rock types and the ice types that are currently available. So let's go right into the best counters. First and foremost, you will want to go with as many Zekrom as you could possibly get. Of course, Zekrom is the absolute best electric type that is currently available in the game. If you do not have a good Zekrom, or if you do not have Zekrom at all, then I highly suggest you focus your trades on getting a good Zekrom. If you have lucky trades lined up, then ask for Zekrom as it's going to be one of the most useful against bosses that are weak against electric types. Of course, another really good option for electric types is the Terrian form of Thunderous. This is, of course, another really powerful electric type. It's going to dish out a lot of damage, and it's just going to eke out Pokemon like Raikou, mainly because it does have that dual flying type, which means it's going to resist a lot of Tornadus's moves. And in terms of Mega Evolutions, Mega Manectric, as well as Mega Ampharos are going to be really good here, specifically because they are Mega Evolutions with electric types. So, of course, they're going to boost up not only your damage, but the damage of your raid party as well. So of course, getting a whole bunch of Megas in your raid party is definitely going to help, especially because Tornadus does require a little bit more damage compared to the other members of this trio, mainly because it only has the flying type. It doesn't have any kind of double weaknesses like Thundurus or Landorus, so that's something you have to keep in mind. And just like Thunderous, Zapdos is also going to be really useful here considering that it does dish out a lot of damage compared to the other members of the bird trio and it does resist a lot of those flying type moves. So it's going to be really useful if you're going up against a Thunderous with both Gust and Hurricane. And I did mention it before, but Raikou is also a decent option if you are lacking a lot of different electric types. There's just a lot of really good electric type Pokemon out there that you could use up against this Pokemon, like even a Electivire is going to be a really good option. So yeah, your options are pretty open here when it comes to electric types. But if you're going up against a Tornadus with Astonish and Focus Blast or Heat Wave or Psychic, then yes, your electric types will struggle a little bit here considering that most electric types are glass cannons. So here are a few other options that you could go with. Of course, another good glass cannon is Rampardos. But of course, with Rampardos, you will want to watch out for Focus Blast. I would say go with Rampardos if you're going up against a heat wave tornadus mainly because it will resist that fire type move and then another safe pokemon that you could use is of course rhyperior with rock type moves rhyperior does resist a lot of those moves but just like rampardos you will want to watch out for focus blast but if it does have psychic or hurricane or heat wave then rampardos is going to be a really solid option it could even be a really good anchor for your team but ideally you will want to go with mainly electric types, mainly because they dish out just so much damage, and of course because Tornadus does not have any kind of double weaknesses, you will want to focus your teams on dishing out as much damage as possible. In the most 
ideal scenario, you will want to lead with either Mega Manetric or Mega Ampharos and then have a whole bunch of Zekrom in the back. That is going to dish out the absolute best amount of damage and Tornadus will go down really quickly if you have that team. Tornadus has a perfect catch CP of 1837 and if it's weather boosted, it will be 2296. Of course, Tornadus is a pure flying type, which means it's going to be weather boosted by one specific weather type, and that is of course Windy Weather. If you want to defeat this boss with a weather boost in your favor, then I highly suggest you go and raid Tornadus when you have the rainy weather boost, because that's going to boost up your electric types, or partly cloudy if you have a whole bunch of rock types. The Terrian form of Tornadus, like I mentioned, is the beefier version of the incarnate form of Tornadus. It just has an insanely high attack stat, so you will want to make sure you pick up a bunch of these Pokemon. It does have a very powerful move set and a very diverse move pool, so it does have some really good implications for the Master League. And yeah, Tornadus is an absolute beast, so I highly suggest you do not miss out on this one. Of course, when it comes to flying types, there really isn't too many options that are currently out there. There. Tornadus is definitely a really good one. Considering that it is a pure flying type, it's definitely going to be useful up against grass type Pokemon and fighting type Pokemon that are weak against flying types. I do think that this Pokemon is going to be extremely useful against fighting type raid bosses, and of course, if you are looking for a really hard hitting flying type Pokemon, then this is probably going to be your best bet. So, if you do not have good flying types in your arsenal, like a Mega Pidgeot or different things like that, then yes, this Pokemon is definitely one you should farm up until you get that perfect IV. Plus it does have that really diverse move pool, so if you are lacking legendaries in general and you just want a really good option with some good charge moves, then this is another good Pokemon that you could get. Now if you are looking to defeat the Terrian form of Tornadus with the least number of trainers as possible, I highly suggest you go with at least two other trainers for a full team of three trainers and make sure you all have the absolute best counters. And make sure you're at least best friends with at least one of them, that is going to give you enough damage to defeat this boss. It may not necessarily be duelable, but you will be able to take down this boss with just three trainers, but make sure you have the absolute best counters and you are all at least level 40, that is going to ensure the victory, because Terrian form of Tornadus does hit a lot harder than the Incarnate form, so it is going to be a little bit of a challenge. You want to make sure you are as best prepared as you possibly can be going up against this boss, otherwise you will end up wasting raid passes, so be on the lookout for that. So there you have it everyone, this is everything you need to know regarding the Tarian form of Tornadus. I would love to know your thoughts on this raid boss down below in the comment section. Do you have a perfect IV Tornadus yet? I would definitely like to know. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if it's your first time here. If you found this video to be extremely helpful and you want to share it with your raid mates, make sure you do so. And yeah, that's really going to be it for this video. I am Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.